We love our food service department. We thrive and try to exceed what the expectations are for the program. For example, we serve a huge variety of fresh fruits and fresh fresh vegetables. Um, we exceed the standards for the kind of meat and the kind of poultry that we serve. We offer vegan uh, options to students. We offer vegetarian options all the time. And every day there is always fresh fruits and vegetables available for purchase. We do a lot of scratch and batch cooking. Um, a lot of our scratch cooking would consist of our homemade hummus, which does not contain tahini, which has sesame seeds. So we make all of that scratch all the time. We have homemade oats, um, overnight oats that we serve daily. Our sauces are homemade. Um, we also do our own fresh asparagus. We do our own fresh Brussels sprouts and we roast them at the particular period that students are coming in for lunch. So they are not done at eight o'clock in the morning. They are done right before your children come in for lunch. Every day we offer a hot entree available at, at all three elementary schools. That would usually consist of um, a meat or a protein, vegetables, fruit, milk, juice. And there's always a display plate that's put up right in front, right before the students come and purchase their meal so they can see all the items that are included in the lunch, but it's a full lunch. Students will actually tell us what they want on their plate, what they don't want on their plate. Then we have designated a special shelf in each school at the bottom of each open air refrigerator and all those options that are at the bottom comes with the meal at no additional charge. Every lunch at the elementary school is $4 for lunch. Then you'll see other options. You'll see pre-made salads, you'll see pre-made sandwiches, you'll see smoothies or yogurt parfaits or the overnight oats. Those items will have a price tag on them and it shows the students the prices. Those are at an additional cost. So it, everything that has a price tag on it will be an additional fee. We have a variety of drinks that we serve in the elementary school. We do have waters available every day, although your child can fill up at any of the filling station with their thermos and not have to purchase the water. Our milk and juice comes with your lunch every day. So we have an eight ounce uh, milk. They come in all varieties from skim, 1%, 2% chocolate. Uh, we also offer uh, organic milk. So if you choose to have organic, we do have that option available. Juice is available with lunch as well. It's a um, different varieties, 100% apple, orange, uh, fruit punch, and it's, it comes in a six ounce uh, container that is available with the purchase of lunch. We do bake our own snacks here at the, at the elementary school. For example, we'll bake our own um, pretzels. Our pretzels are whole grain. Uh, they, some are with salt, some are without salt, but they're only available once a week as the cookies. We offer a 1.33 ounce cookie. It's available only once a week. We bake them off fresh, as well as a variety of ice creams or fruit ice, uh, or frozen fruit, mochi, Chloe's, organic, non-organic, only available once a week on a Friday. We do offer chips every day. It is an option for a snack. Um, they, are, they come in a variety of uh, sizes and flavors. Most of them are usually an organic. It's usually a popcorn, a pretzel, which meets the school lunch program guidelines. Uh, we are really limited into what we have students uh, take and pay for. So we usually only allow one, one chip per person. They are not included in the school lunch, although there are different days where we might feature a indoor barbecue or an outdoor barbecue, and we would include a bag of pretzels or a bag of popcorn. If you're looking to put a restriction on your child's account, it's very simple, it's very easy. All you have to do is either contact me uh, and call, leave a voicemail, or you can email me with whatever kind of restriction you would like to put on your child's account. For example, if you don't want your child to have ice cream on Fridays, we can absolutely do that. If your child has a uh, gluten allergy and you wanna make sure as a double check that 
child not comes through with any kind of gluten on their tray, we can do that. Uh, if they choose not to have any snacks at all, we can do that. We can put restriction on beverage. The only thing that is difficult to do is put a dollar amount restriction on there because they have several different cashiers at the locations. So we can't quite monitor the dollar value, but we can, however, monitor the restriction of the food item. At the middle school, it's a big change for students coming out of elementary. They have a little bit more freedom to pick different items that are available. For example, at the elementary schools, the sandwiches are pre-made. At the middle school, they have a, set, a deli bar. You'll be able to get any kind of deli sandwich or wrap, however you want, made to order. In addition, we have sushi available on Wednesdays and the same things, pizzeria pizza on Fridays. But it gives students a little bit more freedom to pick and choose their meals of the day. Once you get into the high school though, it's a completely different experience as each section of the high school has a made to order station. And once students come in, everything is made to order. There's very little pre-packaged uh, pre items. Students get to choose from a ramen bar, uh, they get to choose from a hot grill. They can have anything that they like made to order, burgers and uh, chicken, any kind of things. Uh, same thing at our deli station. We have an array of fresh vegetables, cold cuts, chicken cutlets, eggplant, uh, anything that they would like made to order. And we also offer gluten-free rolls uh, for those students that may have gluten allergies. And that's actually available at all of our schools. Um, as you move down the line, we have your made to order salad. You can get anything you want, your own salad bar and your own acai bar. In addition, on every Friday, we have a crepe station. So students can get anything that they would like stuffed into a crepe, made homemade, right at that point. So it's really quite an experience to eat at the high school. We take sustainability and composting very serious. Uh, we train our students at a very young age, starting in kindergarten, to be mindful of separating out their uh, utensils, their napkins, their food, and their trays. Everybody is trained to go through a specific line. All of our stuff is plantware, so everything is compostable and everything is recyclable.